Welcome back to Three News at Five. <laughs> That's the best I got. That was good. <laughs> That's all I got. That was good. It worked. Uh, this is a big weekend in Lakewood. We just got a little sneak peek of it there as we were going to the commercial break. Art is being featured there. It is. If you've ever wondered about the difference, say, between post-impressionism and modernism, look no further. This weekend, the portrait show at the Beck Center for the Arts is what we're talking about, and that's where we find our Stephanie Haney. She has our first look. Talk to us about these beautiful paintings and who did them behind you. That's right, Christy and Jay. You know, that was a very distinguished welcome back into the 5 o'clock show, Jay. And I want to welcome you all to the portrait show here at the Beck Center. And to tell us a little more, a bit more about it, we've got Melinda Placco here. This is just one of the exhibits you have at the Beck Center. Is that right? That's correct. We actually have a full schedule of rotating exhibitions all across Beck Center campus. Right here, we're in our main gallery, Hoffman Stack Gallery, and you'll see seven local Cleveland artists on the walls. Wow, and so these are all Cleveland artists, everyone that has something presented here today. Yes. Wow. And tell me a little bit about the media involved in these particular portraits. This is fascinating. So this artist uses all sorts of different materials to create a portrait and build it up. And you can see sponges, you can see paint tubes, you can see all sorts of things uh, in a very expressive manner. By Dan Corrigan there. And when we're talking about the media here, thank you very much, Melinda. If you take a look back behind me, you see how far this expands. You go down the aisle, all the way around the corner here. And speaking of three-dimensional work, we have an artist here, Billy Ritter. Billy, what kind of media do you typically work with? Uh, lately, I've been doing ceramics for like the past 10 years here in Cleveland. Okay, and you have three different pieces here at this exhibit. So I want to check in with you about this one over here. Tell me about this. So this is coil built. It's hand rolled and built out of coils, and then the head is constructed dimensionally. And then what's really unique is it's actually wood fired. Wood fired, okay. And if I'm reading that right, that's a self portrait? That's correct. Can we show the camera over here so people can see just how? Right on, we are with the self-portrait here. And then we have another one here. Tell me about this one, Billy. Yeah, so this one, it's from 12 years ago. And this is this collective of these pieces is kind of the progression of the idea of the self-portrait of who you are and how we change over time. Okay, thank you very much, Billy. We're gonna be talking about his third piece, by the way, in the seven o'clock show. So make sure you stick around for that. Billy, where do people follow you on social media? Billy Ritter 77 on Instagram. Okay, thank you so much. And Jay and Christy, I wanna make sure people know that this exhibit is running through February 26th, Monday through Sunday, all ages, free to get in. And there's nice. a special artist reception on February 23rd from six to 8 p.m. That's also free and you can meet the artists. So nice. are these pieces for sale? That is a great question. Melinda, are these pieces for sale? Yes, Sorry. They definitely are. Yes, they definitely are. There you go. We also have prints available for a lower, lower price point, and then all the rest of the artwork here is for sale, so support your Cleveland artist. All right. Wow. Thank you very much, Melinda. Asked and answered nice. for you, Christy. Look at you, getting it all done, Well Seth. done. I'm so jealous of anyone with artistic ability. I know. I draw a mean stick figure, and that's where my artistic <laughs> skills end. <laughs> I am horrible at art, but I, I envy those that are You are a craftsman, Jay Crawford. <laughs> yeah, in a, in a different a craftsman. way, maybe with working with wood, I guess, is the art that's that I true. got stuck with. But He's very good with but it. But I, I really do envy the, uh, the people that can look at something and then create something create like that, that is, yeah. it resembles it. Thank you, Steph. Appreciate it. Very, very neat.